And then there were two. City leaders tell me they've narrowed the search for a new District 5 headquarters down to two locations. 3300 Central Parkway in Clifton. This is the old permit site. The city already owns it, which would mean a faster process and a smaller price tag. If we would build at the site, the current permit center would be gutted and we'll use the shell to repurpose it for a new District 5. This is the project that's within budget, you know, so we currently have about $9.7 million allocated for the project. The other option is a move to Hamilton Avenue in College Hill. This is where District 5 already moved to on a temporary basis, but making this a permanent site would involve moving out current tenants and would have a hefty price tag. The Hamilton Avenue site, the total project cost if we would build it today to have it ready in about 18 to 24 months would be 22.45 million dollars. But for residents like Ralph Williams, keeping District 5 in College Hill is about more than dollars and cents. You know, you got the police presence there and you got the, the, the citizens in the community that are looking and wanting to build relationships with the police department, waving at the police officers when they're going down, the police officers stopping and saying hi and building relationships. That's policing. Northside resident Tim Jackering doesn't agree. This, this should not be a neighborhood versus neighborhood decision. This should be a District 5 decision. All of the neighborhoods in District 5 will win if this decision is made right. Two different locations, two different price tags, but the final decision won't be made until January. In College Hill, Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5.